since COVID-19, life has changed from how we knew it. Especially for people with HIV. We are worried and scared. When there are lockdowns, how can we go to get medicine or testing done? Will my baby get HIV if I don't take my drugs? I'm not feeling well. I miss my peers. When will this end? Меня зовут Яна, мне 22 года, я родилась с ВИЧ, я из Украины. Когда начался карантин, если честно, было страшно, никто не понимал, что делать. Я не понимала, как я могу достать свои таблетки от ВИЧ, которые мне необходимы. But there is hope. UNICEF is on the ground in more than 120 countries. Joining hands with our governments, networks and communities in drawing the blueprint for children, young people and mothers facing the challenges of COVID-19 while living with HIV. My name is Michael Senyonga, the National Mr. Y Plus Ambassador of Uganda. Working with the Ugandan network of young people living with HIV, I was part of the COVID-19 and young people living in HIV media campaign. It was really a great moment sharing and going through uh, getting questions of young people living with HIV concerning COVID-19. Family HIV testing has helped reduce the rates of losing many HIV positive children. That's we usually miss through our conventional facility-based HIV testing. Kumasi South Hospital is one of such facilities that has benefited from this strategy and as a result has increased the number of children that are diagnosed and are currently receiving their life savings antiretrovirals. My name is Karen Dunaway and I'm a member of ICW Latina and I support other young women living with HIV. This year I was able to be part of ICW's Young Women Media Team where us put a lot of information on social media about young girls and women living with HIV. Hi, my name is Dinas and I'm a 17-year-old teenager from Kazakhstan, Almaty. I decided to work on a project named Sequence, which is a pill box that helps to remotely monitor the medication treatment of a patient with a chronic disease. Right now, in collaboration with the UNICEF, I'm trying to test it at different hospitals with children and other teenagers with HIV and AIDS to make sure and prove of its clinical effectivity. I met mothers to mothers when I was diagnosed with HIV 18 years ago during my second pregnancy. I decided to become a mental mother using my own journey to give help and inspiration to other women. Today, I manage and mentor a team of 33 women working on projects supported by UNICEF. Join us in drawing the blueprint for a world with COVID-19 a blueprint shaped by collective innovation, integration, value-based partnerships and new ways of working that are guided by genuine dialogue, listening and learning from one another. Thank you for keeping us healthy during and after COVID and into the future reimagined.